Russ here, our very TV. Welcome. Today is Thursday, October third. It's about uh, getting on in the afternoon, right around four o'clock. I want to do a little video here. You know, the number one question I get all the time, every week, multiple times a week: What drone do I fly? <laughs> well, today we're going to answer it. Second popular question I get all the time, which I don't mind, don't get me wrong, is the video so still. What kind of ca a dash cam do you have? Well, I'm going to answer that too. We're going to do a little uh, behind the scenes, I guess you'd call it, type video here. We're going to go fly the drone. I thought we'd go over to the RC Airport over on Plymouth, Town Park. Good place to launch a drone. I can set up a camera and hopefully show you how this thing works. The brand, what it does. What picture perfect weather. My goodness. Today it got up like 90. It sounds like a lot, but it's pretty dry, not much humidity. A little bit of a breeze, but the nights are in the 60s. Finally, yay, yay. <laughs> it's cooling off. Okay, we're heading down Main Street, heading east. That B-10 campground on the right just opened up. Looks like their manager's set up back there. They got the closed sign down, so they are open, B-10. They allow tents there too, I'm pretty sure. All the parks are getting open now. And you can tell the traffic in the mornings, you see a lot of RVs, a lot of them head down to Yuma too. Which, by the way, we're, so are we planning on a couple road trips, maybe as early as next week. Saturday I'm going to run up to uh, Lake Havasu. You guys are going with me up there too. Okay, we're getting up here close to Central and Maine. All right, this is Central Avenue. To the left, go up Parker. To the right, go down to Yuma. We're going to run down here to Plymouth. Make a left. Go up Town Park. Yeah, you'll see it getting busier and busier. I noticed the grocery stores too, they're getting a lot more cars. See the flags flying? Means they're open. Yeah, I don't know what's up with fuel. It's still up around almost three bucks. Hopefully it calms back down. Okay, make a left here in Plymouth. Be there just in a few. Okay, heading down Plymouth. You know, one thing I do when I film is I really try to utilize the time of day and where the sun is. And like we just drove down from uh, west to east on Main Street because the sun was behind me. And I, so I picked this time of day on purpose to shoot this video at this time. Also, the direction we're going here, up Plymouth, the sun is off to the left and it's still a little behind. So you can see the uh, view of the camera. The camera's not blowing out. The camera's focused and uh, staying in focus, and the colors are real vibrant. You can see the blue, the greens, the pavement, the red of the stop sign, everything. So that's real important. That's what I look for when I do video. Right there on the left, that's where that big water leak was. On the right courthouse. Don't forget about the 1,500-year-old tree there on the right. <laughs> Remember that video from last year? We'll have to check that out again. A tree that's 1,500, or no, it was 1,200 years old. Something like that. There's the dog parks on the left. 
See how green the grass is and all that? Greenery of the shrubs because of the lighting. Now you watch when I pull in this parking lot up here. The colors are really going to change. Okay, here's the little airport. Now watch this. Watch the camera. See the blue go away. You can't really see the green. It's real distorted. The camera's working overtime. It's really getting blown out. But Now, if I could manually adjust the camera to compensate for it, but right now it's setting auto focus. And driving, you really can't do that. Okay, now watch. And I picked this area. Look at the blue carpet. Because I really wanted to show color differences here on how I film. Okay, now let me turn away from the sun. Now watch the camera readjust. Look at that blue. <laughs> huh? You see the green? See the color of the gravel, the blue, all of it. What a difference, huh? All right. Let's check out the drone. Okay, first, okay, here's a camera. This is what you were just seeing right here. That's the camera that was filming coming down the street, Main Street. It's magnetically mounted. The camera stabilizes itself. That's why you get the stable image. That's a GoPro Hero 7 Black. Then I have the other setup. Here, I'll show you on the inside. These are the dash mounts. When I'm running higher speeds, like going up freeways, anything over 40 miles an hour, I bring the camera inside. Just a adhesive mount to the dash. You see the black towel that keeps the reflection off the glass. That helps the color. So all this is designed for lighting. Always remember good lighting if you're filming. Here I'll show you. I'm not going to mount a camera, but there's a mount for it. That's what it looks like. So a lot of the trip this summer, that it was used like this because I was always in either bad weather or going down. I have another mount over here for just a different angle. Then I have this little go, uh, Garmin 35. That's a dash cam. I rarely use the footage out of that, but it's always on in case I catch a UFO or something. Okay, let's go check out the drone. Okay, here it is. I've had it almost a year. It's a DJI Mavic Pro 2. It's a little guy. But boy does it fly and does it have quality. There's a cover on it. I have three batteries for it. Let me switch cameras and I'll show it to you better. Okay, take the cover off. That is a one inch sensor camera on this little drone. That's what gives it such a high quality image. see these fold out there you got your props now look at the gimbal when it's powered up there's power to it the battery goes right here let me grab a battery pop that in okay uh, when it's powered up the, can uh, the gimbal's more solid, but it just floats. See it float? And that's what stabilizes the engine, uh, the camera, not the engine, in the air. Because the drone's up there bouncing around in the wind. Okay, let's move over here. I'll show you the controller. Okay, here it is here. I paid extra for this thing. This is a DJI smart controller. Instead of using a phone, 
the one that came with it, the little controller with your phone. This is a complete setup. It's got a little uh, TV screen. It's got the joysticks. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to fly with and also I have much better control. I can adjust all the colors and controls in that camera if I want. Okay, I'm setting up a little demo. Here's another camera I use. It's a Canon XA50. This is a big boy. Very, uh, it's pro. It's a pro camera. Stereo mic. I don't use this a lot in everyday videos, but I do use it. Let's see if I can get it. turned on. Okay, this is really not going to be a tutorial how to fly a drone. The drone's powering up, so is the controller right now. See the lights flashing on it? Here, I'll show you in a second. But this, this gives you an idea of what, when I fly, there you go. Hope you can see that the sun's kind of glaring there. See my legs. Okay, there I just started the drone recording. Now start the drone. Take off. Now let's bring the drone up. We're launching. When I say up we go, well, up we go. <laughs> okay, on the joysticks, the drone, I'm going to bring it back, stop the beeping. The sensors are going off. That's what all the beeping is. I'm moving the drone a little farther away. Let me adjust this other camera. Hopefully you can see it. There. There you go. Okay, so take the drone up, you push it up slightly, up the drone goes, left joystick down. Now if you move this one right to left, here I'll show you in a sec, I'm going to take it up and down. Okay, now I'm going to slightly turn it to the left, now watch the drone spin around. This is how I get the panoramic shots. You can see it spinning around, and you can go both directions if I move the joystick to the right. Now this other stick, it's forward and reverse, sideways, back and forth. So you go back, and then front to back. I'm barely pushing the sticks, because the harder you push them, the faster the drone goes. And then back. And those are the basic movements of the drone. And we're recording this whole thing. I'll try to mix it when I edit this video. Hopefully it all turns out. Okay, let's spin the drone around. I'll bring it down a little. Up. Spin it back around. Now see this dial back here? This is how I control the camera to go up and down. Let me get that in the sun a little bit so you can see it. All I do is turn the dial and the camera will go up and down. So there's your basic controls of the drone. That's what I do when I'm flying and making videos for you guys to watch. Like I said earlier, I try to go with the sun. I always try to use the light to my advantage. Early mornings, later in the afternoons is the best time to film or photograph. Let's take a ride. Here we are, we're flying. Going up, we're at about 140, 50, 60 feet. There's that serious garden. I'm not going to fly a lot here. 
spin it around see I'm rotating the drone now I'm pointing the camera the drone is stationary all I'm doing is rotating now watch you'll see me here in a second there I am I'm still rotating the drone is still stationary it's directly above me about 160 feet now I bring the camera back up now I'm flying forward and while I'm flying forward I'm gonna start turning the drone spin it back around and voila there you are there's the runway there's the van there's me and look how blue the carpet see now the light is behind the drone the camera look how crystal clear the colors everything are once again always check your lighting keep it behind you look at this look at my shadow that'll show you right there okay let me get landed here okay well there you go there's there's how I make my videos I mean that's basically it now I do other things in editing I don't really color correct that much if I'm working for a client doing something for a website I get a lot more detailed on the actual footage for YouTube videos I kind of get what you see <laughs> But I'm always conscious of my lighting, always. It's just part of doing this stuff after you do it so long. Because I, I want you guys to see the best quality. Uh, I don't know, in some of the videos you, you uh, see me, I'll turn off the camera because there's no sense filming directly into the sun. It just blows out the picture. Now you can color correct it to a point, but once again, it's not the best video. And with the dash mount camera, you're not going to get a lot of movement. You can't adjust. Watch this. See, I'm turning right back into the sun. Look how the colors go away. So, anyway, I hope this helps. I get asked that question so much. I get emails on Facebook, Twitter, everything. That's probably one of the number one questions what drone do I fly and how do I make the video so clear and stable and this is how and it's good equipment this is not cheap equipment I try to use the best to give you guys the best tomorrow we'll be out filming around town here We've got a couple uh, people I want to put on camera you'll be seeing that and then like I said today's Thursday Saturday, we're heading up to Havasu. Gonna go up there and uh, toot around a little bit, not much. Anyway, talk soon. <laughs>